your discretion. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra. And um, we are only a day or so away from Operation Boston Green Pie. Should be a really good time watching the weather, but it seems like it should be okay. And today I wanted to talk about the uh, the brotherhood or sisterhood of riders. Um, I've been involved <clears throat> with you know different hobbies. I was a uh, big into the still am big into cars, but there's something about the motorcycle hobby or the motorcycle passion that just really brings people together in a, in a way that I don't think anything other anything other passion or, or whatever you want to call it interest does. And what I mean by that is this. <clears throat> if you go somewhere and you find out that and you meet somebody and you find out that they're a rider, there's there for some reason there's like an immediate bond that you get. I wonder if this guy will cut everybody off. You see this all the time. No. There's an immediate bond you get with that person simply because he or she rides. They might not even have a motorcycle, but they did ride at one time. <clears throat> or they're a current rider. And it's just something that you when you know they tell you Oh yeah, I ride too. It, it really doesn't matter what they ride. It, they could ride a. They could be a, riding a Harley. They could be riding a um. A. Uh, um, a Goldwing. <clears throat> they could be into whatever type of riding. They could be riding a dual sport. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to match what you what your interest is. Um, but for some reason, you you feel an instant connection and a kinship and and you know. It's kind of cool that way. And I think that when you meet a rider, you kind of let down your guard a little bit because you're like, oh, you know, this person rides. And I don't know if there's any other interest that, that shares that same, you know, the, the ability to do that. You know, like you don't see people who are stamp collectors. When they find out each other, somebody else is a stamp collector, I don't think they're instant buddies. Or, or maybe they are. I don't know. I'm not a stamp collector and I really don't know anybody. So if you're a stamp collector out there and you're telling me that it happens in that, in that as well, you know, hey, throw that down in the comments. That's pretty funny. But, back to the topic. It doesn't matter if the person rides a cruiser. It doesn't matter if they ride a sport bike. It doesn't matter if they go adventure touring, if it's an uh, adventure bike or touring bike. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing, none of that matters. It's just that a rider is a rider. And I think for the most part, we as a motorcycling community do kind of follow that. For the most part. I mean, you know, we might, uh, listen, you, you sp uh, I'll feel, uh, Maybe a stronger connection to someone on a sport bike than on a cruiser, but still, you have that instant respect. Now, you might be thinking, two wheels are two wheels, right? Two wheels, what was it, uh, two wheels move the soul, that whole thing? Fine, then I challenge you, what about scooters? Now, this, uh, people talk about scooters, and a lot of people don't respect scooters. Me, and I've said this before, I don't have a problem with scooters at all. I, I look, they're riders too. They throw, when they swing their legs over their, uh, over their rides, you know what? They're assuming the same level of risk that <coughs> kind of I'm assuming. And, uh, you know, I, I would ride with a scooter any day of the week. It doesn't matter to me. You know, we and, and that's cool. Uh, and you can't even make the argument that they're like um, small bikes, you know, scooters. A little 50cc, uh, you know, a Honda Spree or a Metropolitan or something. And I got two words for you. Ready? Suzuki Bergman. You look at a Bergman 650, man, that thing's a tank. It's more like a Goldwing than like a than like a scooter, but you know you never know. I don't know how people kind of perceive it. What's up, gentlemen? Um, was this work day or something? These guys are working. So there's that one thing right there. So that was my first question: is how do you feel about scooters? Do you give them the respect? Would you ride with a scooter? If somebody said they ride a scooter, would you feel the same way as if they said I ride a motorcycle? Now, <clears throat> if you're going to tell me, once again, that the kind of ride somebody has or the kind of vehicle they have doesn't matter to you and you're just about a rider as a rider, well, let me up the ante. Can-Am. Those three-wheelers like SpacePod hopped on uh, a week or so ago, a week or two ago. There are a lot of people out there, a lot of riders that don't consider them motorcycles. Now, I don't care what your local DMV says because I'm not going to let the motor vehicle department tell me. I don't trust these guys. All right, it is a green light. Tr I'm not going to let them tell me 
we pause for a little sexy sound. Oh, that felt nice. I don't know if the, the Cena actually picked that up, but it was sexy to me. So I'm not going to let the DMV tell me what is the um, definition of a motorcycle. So the jury's still out with me. I don't know. Somebody's on a, um, a Can-Am Spider or whatever, or even those big monster T-Rexes with the ZX-14 or Hayabusa motors or whatever the hell they put in there, BMW motors, I don't know. That's an animal. Um, I realize you don't have to lean. I realize you don't have to put your feet down at stoplights. I realize there's, realize there's no balancing really going on. <clears throat> Are the people geared up? Yeah. Are they assuming the same risks as I am assuming? Pretty much. I mean, they are exposed. There's no doors, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, the T-Rex, I think there, there is a roof, but you know what I'm saying. Do I consider them motorcyclists? I don't know. <clears throat> Would I ride with them? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, I, I, think, uh, I think I would say a rider's a rider on that one. But... <clears throat> I think to me it's, would I ride with them? I don't know. Do I consider them the motorcyclists? I don't know. I would definitely ride. No, I would definitely ride with them, yeah. But I don't know if I consider them motorcyclists. I don't know. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Can you move up a little bit? Come on, Volvo. Move up. Come on, you're embarrassing yourself. I'm not getting stuck at this light. Ladies and gentlemen, if I go through this red light, I just want to apologize in advance. Oh, there's a freaking police car right there. That's why he's going to sit here. Captain Schmucko. I don't want to get a ticket. I don't want to get a ticket. I made it. Oh my hey, listen, if I'm in trouble, the landscaping truck behind me is in bigger trouble, you know? So that's what I'm talking about today. Does the vehicle that the rider chooses <coughs> qualify them as a rider or not? Does it really matter to you? And I'm not just talking about sport bike versus cruiser. And I'm not just talking about scooter versus motorcycle. Now I'm bringing the Can-Ams into it because uh, uh, people definitely have their own points of view and their own opinions on this subject and I, I really like to hear them because I mean I'm interested. So that's about it. I'm enjoying the nice weather. It's beautiful out right now. Not too hot, not too cold. And I'm hoping that things will be really nice for uh, Operation Boston Cream Pie. Hang out with some good friends, uh, New England motor vloggers, and um, hi, how are you? <laughs> That's my gentleman's horn. It's not a screaming. It's a hi, how are you? All right, well, I better slow down here because the light's red, but you take care of yourselves and uh, ride safe. We'll see you. Um... <laughs> You got these Ducat. Hi there. What does she want? You want me, don't you? Can't have me.